Welcome back to Crusading Game Reviews with Softwang. Today I'm going to show you Equinox and also my opinion on the Dark Lotus quest. Well, that's what I like to call it, or the quest name is actually Nata. Equinox is a mixture of a offensive and defensive Warframe. There is a lot of possibilities. You can use duration, strength, uh, range, uh, many kind of builds. It's basically two Warframes in one at this point. Two Warframes in one. Symbolizing of yin and yang, day and night. As you can see, the first ability, Metamorphosis, allows Equinox to change between day and night aspects. In night form, you get bonus damage. And also in day form, you get increased speed. But they also exchange of shield and armor as well. Second ability, Rest and Rage. In night form, targets are put to sleep. CC. Day form, they become more vulnerable to damage, so that even works together. It's like a Lego piece. Pacify and Provoke. During the night, night form reduces damage inflicted by nearby enemies. That's a great defense. In day form, increased power strength for all allies. A buff. So you can basically raise the morale of your teammates while reducing the morale, so to speak, for the enemy. And then you got Men and Maim, which is the ultimate ability. In the night form, all your allies are healed for each nearby en enemy killed. In the day form, they all bleed and you get hit with a big shockwave of slashing force. So there are a lot of pros and not necessarily any cons to Equinox. And Equinox is in a very good spot. And I can't say he or she, I'll just say in between. How about that? <laughs> But hell, honestly, if Equinox does get a buff, it's going to be for the high-end stuff here. And I see a good spot for Equinox in raids, even. There are untold possibilities. There are different builds to do and mixture with this. I haven't even fully ranked it up. But again, as a Warframe partner, my job is to tell you how the Warframe feels, any other product that's in introduced, and any tools and update, or any other goodies. Equinox is approved by the Crusade by my stream and as a Warframe partner fit for battle and as a good Warframe for any Tenno. Other things I want to talk about. Many weapons have been brought back from the dead and I got them already equipped. The Lex Prime buffed which is excellent. The Supra is also buffed all across the board just for flat damage. But here's another thing that I especially want to show you with update 17 so you know how mostly rifles, the primaries, are usually at the top, even secondaries. Whereas with, you know, some snipers and shotguns, don't exactly work. Well, snipers aren't too exactly there yet, but I will show you something. So, one of my favorite shotguns is the Heck. Now, if Ordis gets out of my face here real quick, we can actually see more stuff. But, majority of the damage for all shotguns has been increased, which is amazing. You see the corrosive and blast damage I have here currently? Pretty high, right? Well, before that, it was only about 1 to 2k. And that's this puncture. It's about 9,000. That used to be about barely 1,000. This gun has been restored to its former glory before damage 2.0. And I'll give an example. Before damage 2.0 and great damage changes, an ancient, an infested ancient, which is the greatest fear back then, around level 120 I managed to defeat with one bullet of this gun. Now I can with this again and if it doesn't die from the first shot surely it will from the second. So but there's also one last thing the Nata quest. So that is recorded and already put through on YouTube through my channel right here. There are, it's a live gameplay the whole playthrough of it. So There'll be a bit of chatter from between me and the viewers, but again, if you want to take a look, go for it. It's split into about five segments. So I approve of update 17 once more. This is part two of the review for the update. Uh, Equinox approved. Shotgun buff approved. Attack quest approved. Um, bringing other weapons back from the dead, definitely approved. This is software, and I give major, major thumbs up. Thank you again, DE, and for making me a partner. And also, 
for all you fellow Tenno, this is Sawfang. If you wish to catch me on a live stream, twitch.tv slash Sawfang. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Grandes Sawfang. There's also the Steam group, and most of my social media is listed right below. Give it a like or subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next crusade.